from around the globe, it's theCUBE. Covering HPE Discover Virtual Experience. Brought to you by HPE. Welcome to theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020, the virtual experience this year. I'm Lisa Martin with theCUBE, and I have a guest joining me from HPE Financial Services, Doreen Vu, Marketing and Business Development Leader in the APJ region. Welcome, Doreen. Hi, Lisa. Thank you for having me today. I should say good morning. You're in Singapore. Great to have you here. So talk to us a little bit about your role in financial services for HPE. Yes, I lead the marketing and business development for Asia Pacific Japan at HPE Financial Services. Uh, well, together with my team, we look to create and execute business strategies as well as go to market programs, uh, collaborating with our HPE and high value relationship partners to jointly develop uh, you know, revenue growth and profitability goals that we all look to, to have. For the last few months, massive disruption with COVID-19, disrupting business strategies, disrupting go-to-market plans. What are some of the things that you have seen from that lens of helping customers from a financial services perspective? What have you seen since COVID hit? Yeah, so from the business perspective, you know, COVID-19 has really uh, intensified some of the, what we really knew in terms of the digital transformation that is so imperative in order to compete in today's uh, very, very um, competitive world. And of course, in that dynamic situation, uh, we also see a lot of customers when the pandemic hit them, they were trying to balance that with, you know, keeping their operations on as well as trying to still, um, uh, you know, keep to their digital transformation initiatives. So all of that was really, you know, um, taking away some of what they see in terms of the budgets where it's really quickly depleting. Um, some were actually delayed or you know, simply just taking away. So the, initially we saw many customers who needed to boost their IT requirement very quickly in order to help their employees you know, to work from home remotely and to continue to support the business um, online. So there were a lot of uh, uh, requirements in the initial phase. At the same time, we're also seeing that while customers were trying to do that, a lot of this were unplanned. And so they had to look to how to, to, to do this, all these initiatives, as well as, you know, still keeping the cash, uh, you know, to conserve it for, to weather through the storm, whereby they are also seeing a decreasing revenue because of some of the lockdowns and restrictions that they are facing. So given how dynamic this whole thing has been and how fast businesses in every industry and pretty much country of the world had to massively pivot or shut down, what are some of the ways in which HPE Financial Services is getting creative to help your customers, as you said, kind of navigate shrinking budgets or budgets that are being quickly depleted, while at the same time, these businesses for financial agility need to have you know, a big mind on cash flow. Yeah, so we saw that, you know, um, coming through and a lot of customers was also looking to see how they could continue both their operations as well as, you know, still keep their, 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 their you know, initiatives going ahead. So a lot of customers were trying to figure out what's the best way they can do this uh, while you know, maintaining all of that and you know, keeping all the possible budgets. So we have put together uh, a two billion offer uh, with, to help customers in order to tie through this period. And it was through a various you know, lease of initiatives that we have, including you know, some flexible financing scheme that will allow them to take advantage of you know, the the programs that we have while you know keeping the lights on as well as making sure that they still have the cash to invest and you know and 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 actually adopt and go ahead with their digital transformation strategy. Tell me a little bit about how your team actually helped to create some of those flexible financing financing options so quickly given how fast everything changed. What were some of the conversations like within HPE that you can share that led you to understand, okay, this is where we can deliver creativity to our customers. Right, so there, there were a, a lot of uh, discussion going on. I mean, the couple of very key um, areas where we feel that the customers have a very uh, important needs is one, you know, uh, where 
the supply chains have been disrupted and yet they have to keep their operations or boost their operations because a lot of people were working from home and so that connectivity needs to be in place, the service needs to be upgraded. So definitely, you know, they would need to upgrade their system. And so that's where, you know, we have our solutions to able to help them bring in some of the um, pre-certified, uh, pre-owned equipment to, to help them upgrade and that can be done you know very quickly in a matter of days um, or even just you know weeks or days and so they can upgrade that very quickly so we have a, a solution to help them to do that at the same time we know that you know uh, cash is going to be you know very important liquidity keeping their liquidity is very crucial for the business and so we have uh, came together and put uh, through a few of what we call a deferral program as well as you know a, a relief program will allow them to, you know, take advantage where they pay as little as nothing for three months or as little as 1% for the remaining of this year and, you know, defer most of the costs to later part. So, so we, we think these are the ones that, you know, customers really need to because these are where they see some of their constraints in terms of managing both uh, keeping their operations as well as the cash uh, intact. And of course, customers have to plan for what's happening right now, which a lot of businesses, uh, and you and I are in this, this, everyone work from home. And then there'll be a next phase where, depending on the type of industry, maybe certain job functions will go back to the office. And then maybe there'll be a third phase where it's permanently some folks' percentage, a large part probably, are going to stay working from home. So your customers have to be yeah. able to work with HPE financial services to plan for those phases. And as you talked about, you've got a program to help them swap out equipment with a certified pre-owned program. But I imagine that's equipment ranging from laptops to printers to network and connectivity and security technologies, right? It really spans the whole gamut of what HPE delivers. Yes. So, so you know, for us, we are looking across the whole spectrum of IT. Um, you know, we pride ourselves as we aspire to be the leader in IT asset economics. And that's really where, you know, our strength is because we understand, you know, the value in each of these IT assets. And it's not just about, you know, um, conserving cash of any sort, but it's also about how to you acquire a whole uh, IT assets with the best, you know, uh, solutions whereby you can use it and consume it as well as, you know, you are not um, tied to a particular set of products and you get the chance to upgrade as when as you need it. You know, so that helps the customers in terms of you know, enabling their strategies to go ahead with the various uh, you know, uh, post-COVID-19 um, plans that they might have. So that's where we could help with uh, you know, various uh, options for the customers. Are you seeing, is HPE seeing an increase in e-waste? Because now there might be businesses that, that, as you said earlier, we have to digitally transform to be compete. That's no longer a nice to have. What's going on from a, a sustain, sustainability perspective? Yeah, so, so from a, um, as, the, as companies innovate, right? Uh, a lot of times uh, those those are good innovations, but at the same time as you innovate, you know, there are also the downside of where, you know, you create a, a different set of problems which is with e-waste. Uh, and a lot of sometimes uh, innovations might take place well, sometimes, you know, uh, it's a little bit of trial and you might not proceed with those innovations. And that's where you might have created, you know, extra, IT assets which would not be used. And that is really a growing problem because you know we see 50 tons of e-waste being created every year. And so, you know, a lot of customers are also telling us to say that, you know, how we can help them in this area. You know, and, and this is really where HB Financial Service can do a lot to help because we strongly believe uh, you know in recycling and upcycling of our products and you know um, advocating the the consumption versus the own mentality, you know, and that's where our various solutions really can come in to help to customers who are thinking about, you know, um, innovations, who are thinking about, you know, uh, getting their business transformed. We have different ways to help them to do that. 
and a lot of times uh, that's where if you know customers look to that it helps them to, and not just about um, building up strategy as well as building a strategy that is committed to sustainability. Um, and continuing on the sustainability topic, I imagine too, one of the opportunities that customers have uh, to work with HPE and financial services is to streamline and simplify their environment. I imagine, I think of it, you know, a very simple analogy to spring cleaning, realizing, oh, I haven't used this in a while, I don't need it. Talk to me about some of the ways that from a sustainability and a, a moving forward kind of future direction perspective, you're, where HPE might be helping customers simplify their IT infrastructures to reduce the amount of, of technologies and devices that they might need to help them be more efficient as their business strategies have completely changed. Yeah, so so I think first of all, when a company looks to innovate and looks to uh, adopt new technology, I think one of the key things that they probably will look to is how do, how do they plan to use this? How are they consuming it? And think about, you know, uh, are there better ways that they can consume this IT? You know, uh, it's not so much about having everything in-house and uh, owning it. It's also about it's, it's providing you the level of service that you need, as well as, you know, uh, is that what is uh, required in terms of, you know, the best way to manage uh, your financial agility in order to meet those requirements. And so that, uh, that's probably very key for a lot of customers who need to look at both balancing their financial requirements as well as you know, having the right strategy and uh, contributing again you know, to the sustainability goals that they might have internally. As we look at HP Discover coming up, you have probably a, a unique opportunity with this event having to be completely virtual of having customers in every industry in every region of the world now not have to travel. So expenses saved there, talked about them being you know cash constrained and budget shrinking, but you probably have the opportunity to talk to maybe a wider audience about what HPE financial services can help customers achieve in normal times and in these current times. Talk to me about some of the things that that customers will have the opportunity to learn, like maybe sessions that you're doing at Discover. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I think this is this is one of the great things that's happening right now because everything is virtual. Anyone and everyone can go into Discover. Where in in you know in previous years maybe they're restricted by travels, um, they're restricted by timings, and so like even myself, you know, here in Singapore, we can't uh, go into Discover. Um, you know, anytime and, and really enjoy that. So I really would, you know, invite, you know, all the attendees to view our spotlight sessions, uh, which is reimagine your entire technology asset that's delivered by our CEO of Rothman. And also we have a feature session that's in the women's leaders in technology, whereby um, our COO Jericho talks about leading, you know, through the, the recovery. And of course, not to forget, I know we still have two more business talks as well as, you know, our demo rooms that in the showcase, which, you know, we, I would recommend everyone to go visit. Terrific, Doreen. Thank you for sharing what's going on with HPE Financial Services in the time of COVID, how you're helping customers adjust their business strategies. And thanks for sharing the different sessions that they can attend and learn from at Discover. We appreciate your time. Thank you, Lisa. It was great having to, to be on this sessions. Yep. It's my pleasure. Excellent, mine as well. For Doreen Vu, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE's coverage of HPE Discover 2020.